everybody. How is everyone doing? Happy Saturday. Welcome to Witchcraftin'. My name is Meg. I just have a little short video for you today. I um, went on a walk the other week and I found mistletoe. And I'm going to be honest with you. I really didn't know a lot about mistletoe. I brought it home. I knew, I figured it could be used in love because of all the the legends and folklore, you know, where you kiss underneath the mistletoe. But it can also be used for protection, which really interests me. Um, I love to keep my home really protected. I usually, around the property, I will empty sacred incense ash. I will do that. I will um, sometimes bury eggshells or crystals on the property. But I think I'm gonna add mistletoe to my windows. I have some sage hanging in my house in a window. And I think I'm gonna add this. And after it dries out, and I may show you like next week if you, if you wanna see it, um, I'm gonna make some bundles and add some charms and do some cord magic. But, um, so I wanted to tell you a little bit about it so that way if you see it and you may be interested in bringing some home for you, or if you don't have it locally, I checked on Amazon and it's only like $3.25 for a little bit. So it's not high at all. Um, okay, now I may have to look down because my memory is not the best. And I am not a walking herbal dictionary. So, okay, mistletoe was revered by the Druids. Um, the, the word, the actual word they had for mistletoe meant heal all. The white berries, now mine doesn't have any white berries on it, but the white berries that the plants sometimes get, actually the Druids thought it represented the semen of the sun god. So I thought that was really cool. Um, it can be used to heal a broken heart, for fertility, for love, for protection. The astrological sign that it's associated with is Leo. The planets are Jupiter and the sun. The element is air. A god that is associated with is Odin. Um, and I couldn't find the goddess that it was associated with. And it's a male plant. Um, and it can be used in any and all positive workings. So I thought it would be perfect for sachets, for hanging in your window. You know, you could just really get creative with it. And this time of year, it's everywhere. Or it is, or it is here. Oh, I broke off a piece. It is here in South Carolina. So I just wanted to share that with you really quickly, just give you a little info on mistletoe. So if you see any and you want to get some, please be careful if you're trying to get it out of a really tall tree. I don't want anybody to fall or anything. But um, you know, maybe get some help to get it down, or hopefully you'll find a tree that's low enough like I did where you can get it. And I can't remember if I mentioned or not, mistletoe is very toxic. So please do not eat it. Wash your hands after handling it. Um, keep it away from other herbs, which you might ingest, so just exercise caution. Okay, everyone, I will see you next week, and um, I hope everybody has a beautiful Saturday. Much love and many blessings. Bye.